Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Super Gaming OC. If you didn't know already, Nvidia have recently announced their new line of refreshed GPUs during the CES 2024. These include the GeForce RTX 4080 Super at 999, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super at $799 and the GeForce RTX 4070 Super at $599. The new RTX 40 Super Series now feature more CUDA cores, slightly more RT and Tensor cores, as well as faster memory. However, having said that, many have stated that the performance difference between the original RTX 40 and the new RTX 40 Super Series is only minimal. What is true though, is that Nvidia have lowered the MSRP launch price from the original 1200 for the RTX 4080 at launch uh, versus the $999 which is for their new RTX 4080 Super. While the launch price of the RTX 4070 Super Ti and the RTX 4070 Super remains the same at $799 and $599 respectively. Alright so let's get back to the review. Gigabyte have just launched their GeForce RTX 4080 Super powered by Nvidia's latest GPU featuring ADA Lovelace architecture and comes with 4th gen tensor cores, 3rd gen RT cores and supports the latest DLSS 3.5. The GPU is slightly overclocked at 2595 MHz, the default is 2550 MHz and comes with a total of 10240 CUDA cores as well as 320 tensor cores and 80 RT cores. The card comes with 16GB of GDDR6X RAM on a 256 memory bus running at a speed of 23 gigabits per second. Video outputs include three DisplayPort 1.4 and one HDMI 2.1, with a maximum resolution of 4K at 240Hz or 8K at 60Hz. The total board power is around about 320 watts, which means you require a minimum power supply of 750 watts or higher. It'll be interesting to see how this card will perform against other GeForce cards that we've tested in the past, as well as the flagship Radeon RX 7900 XTX. So uh, let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Super Gaming OC Edition. 16GB of GDDR6X RAM, supports DLSS3, uh, ray tracing, reflex studio. Comes with the Windforce cooling. OC edition and four years warranty. Okay. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, we have an envelope. Let's have a look inside. Some warranty information and uh, installation guide and a quick guide here. All right. All right, let's take a look inside. All right, here we have a power adapter. And this end we have the new 16 pin 12V H PWR connector there. And then we have three connectors there for your PCIe uh, eight pin power connectors. All right. We have some screws for your uh, GPU bracket. And uh, this is the GPU bracket to hold your graphics card in place. That uh, helps to prevent the graphics card from sagging. All right, now let's take a look at the graphics card. Okay, here we have the graphics card. It's a very large graphics card, you can see it's huge and uh, it measures uh, 342 millimeters across and 150 millimeters uh, on this side and the width is uh, 75 millimeters there. This graphics card uses Nvidia's latest GPU with the uh, Ada Lovelace architecture and uh, comes with 10,240 CUDA cores with uh, 320 tensor cores and 80 RT cores. It comes with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6X RAM on a 256 bit memory bus with a speed of uh, 23 gigabits per second. 
The GPU is slightly overclocked at 2595 MHz. The default is 2550 MHz. So uh, this card should perform pretty well. It takes around about for four PCI slot space. So make sure that you have a, a nice big case to fit this in. It's uh, quite a big card. All right, on the top here, we have the uh, BIOS, OC and silent switch. Switch between the two to give you the uh, boost speed or you want silent operation. And here we have the 16-pin uh, PCI power connector. This is the uh, 12 VHWPR. Make sure that the cable is securely connected. And uh, this graphics card takes around about uh, 320 watts of total board power. So you need a uh, power supply of 750 watts or higher uh, for power in this card. And as you can see, there's a massive heat sink and it has nine heat pipes, um, copper composite heat pipes to help you with the cooling. It comes with the wind force cooling system with uh, three uh, alternate spinning fans. And as you can see inside there, you can see the LED ring to give you a nice RGB fusion for your graphics card. We also got some LEDs right here with the Gigabyte logo that should light up when you power this graphics card. All right, video outputs include a three display port and uh, one HDMI and gives you a resolution of 4K at 240 Hertz or 8K at 60 Hertz. All right, so this card should perform pretty well and is perfect for any gamers who's after uh, the best performance during 4K gaming. We'll be testing this graphics card using our test rig, which is comprised of an Intel Core i9 14900K along with the Z790 motherboard and uh, 32 gigabytes of uh, DDR5 7200 RAM. It'll be interesting to see how this will perform against other GeForce cards that we've tested in the past, and of course, uh, against the Radeon RX 1700 XTX. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Super Gaming OC 16 gigabyte graphics card. Wow, what can I say? Well, the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Super Gaming OC is currently one of the fastest graphics cards we've tested to date, except of course the RTX 4090. It easily outperforms AMD's flagship Radeon RX 1700 XTX and all other GeForce cards that we've tested in our labs. This is all thanks to the overclocked GPU running at 2595 MHz and 16 GB of GDDR6X RAM running at 23 gigabits per second. During our test, we used the usual test rig, which is comprised of an Intel Core i9 14900K processor and a Zeus Strix Z790E gaming motherboard, along with 32 GB of DDR5 7200 memory. We got phenomenal scores in all of our benchmarks, including an impressive score of 10,672 for Basemarks Relic for Life and a Geekbench GPU score of 260,767. For Unigen's Valley Benchmark, we got a score of 11,591 and a Final Fantasy score of 22,480. Plasmark 10 GPU score was 40,431. For Superposition 1080p Extreme and Optimized 4K, we got amazing scores of 17,445 and 23,596 respectively. For 3D Mark Times by Fire Strike, we produced excellent scores of 27,919 and 44,556 respectively. And finally, for Speedway Import Rail, we produced an impressive score of 7,483 and 18,518 respectively. For Cyberpunk 2077, with ray tracing overdrive option enabled, we produced an astonishing score of 56.96 frames per second. And lastly, we got a DirectX ray tracing score of 90.46 frames per second and a DLSS score of 41.04 frames per second. So the question is, should you get one? Well, if you already own an RTX 4070 Ti or an RTX 4080, then the answer is no. For those who own the older RTX 20 or 30 series, now is the time to consider the upgrade. Although the performance difference between the original RTX 4080 and the new RTX 4080 Super is only marginal, with a percentage difference in a low single digit, the RTX 4080 Super is in fact $200 cheaper at launch. 
with an overclocked GPU cooled by Gigabyte's WinForce cooling system, featuring a massive heatsink with 9 heat pipes and 3 110mm fans, the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Super Gaming OC is no doubt a phenomenal graphics card designed for the most extreme of enthusiast gamers. It outperforms everything we've tested to date, all except of course the RTX 4090. You can check out the full review on our website at funkkit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Super Gaming OC. A fantastic card that outperforms everything that we have right now in our labs. It's perfect for any gamer who wants the best performance at 4K gaming. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston at funkykit.com.